everyone, my name is Dave Zona. This is the 10th of March, 2019. Article was written by Jason Lemon, posted on Newsweek, published on the 10th of March, 2019. Title Jared Kushner is beating heart of corrupt and deeply evil Trump administration, Harvard Law Professor Lawrence Tribe says. There's an embedded video you might want to take a look at. Lawrence Tribe, a professor of constitutional law at Harvard Law School, slammed President Donald Trump's son-in-law of Jared Kushner in a tweet this weekend, suggesting he would soon be exposed as a traitor. Sharing a long Twitter thread by attorney and academic Seth Abramson, who was also a columnist for Newsweek, Tribe on Saturday referred to Kushner as smarmy, slimy, smiling. Kushner, who is married to Ivanka Trump, was appointed by the president as a senior White House advisor in January 2017. Jared Kushner of 666 Fifth Avenue. 666? Isn't that sort of a strange address? Huh? Is the beating heart of this unprotentionally corrupt and deeply evil administration. Tribe wrote, he'll eventually be exposed as an insatiably greedy Benedict Arnold. There's a couple of links that are there. Tribe is referring to the infamous General Benedict Arnold, an early hero of the American Revolution against the British, who later switched sides and betrayed his young nation in 1779. His name has since become synonymous with the word traitor, according to history. Abramson's thread shared by Tribe laid out a case for why Kushner is allegedly the greatest domestic danger in America. Well, I think Bolton's pretty close too, John Bolton. The attorney and columnists made their claim after many months of research for a forthcoming book titled Proof of Conspiracy. Many former U.S. government officials know for a fact that what I've just said is true. Abramson's wrote in his first tweet in the series. Kushner is going to get us into a devastating war with Iran. Jarrett Singham Hanley. Jarrett to make money for himself, the attorney wrote. I'll say now that Jarrett more richly deserves to be in prison for the rest of his life than Manafort. And Manafort rich, richly deserves it, he argued. That's how bad this is. Don't believe anything you hear from Kushner's attorney or from Kushner ever. The latter will always be lying to you, and the former will either be lying to you or will have been lied to by his client. Abramson continued. He then pointed to reports surrounding Kushner's top secret clearance, which he allegedly was granted despite the disapproval of intelligence agencies and top administration officials. Trump circumventing our intelligent community to give his son-in-law that access is the shibboleth that makes the current danger to America possible, Abramson wrote. Our foreign policy is totally off the rails in a way that is dangerous, and the sole reason for this is the Kushner-Trump axis. Our values have been betrayed in ways that we may shortly feel so keenly our heads will spin. We need whistleblowers to blow their whistles now, he said. Abramson's also argued that Kushner should go to prison for a very, very long time. Trump's chief of staff, John Kelly, and top intelligence officials oppose granting Kushner access to viewing sensitive top secret material pertaining to the nation's security, according to a recent report from the New York Times. However, the president reportedly ordered his son-in-law be granted the clearance allegedly disagreeing the objectives, disregarding, I apologize, the objectives. Folks, I told you this Kushner, what makes him a top advisor and his address? Isn't that like the devil sign, 666? Huh? You know how tall Trump Tower is? I think it's 664 and a half feet in height. Huh? <laughs> you can't make this shit up, can you? I'll attach the link. Take a look at the embedded video. 
Let me know what you think. You might want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. You might want to repost it in your social media accounts. What's written under the video embedded, Trump would throw Jared Kushner under the bus. And Ivanka would have to as well. You can't make this stuff up, can you? I told you that guy's worthless. And he's also ruthless, according to the professor. Thanks for listening.